The last part of LED that remains is uh, emission pattern. Let us say I have a LED and I am looking at when we say emission pattern, we typically look at far field pattern. Far field patterns are those when we look at distances much larger than lambda. Okay, so, we are talking about much larger distances when compared to lambda. Uh, why are we interested in looking at the emission pattern? As far as the communication grade LEDs are concerned, we have to couple that light into a optical fiber. So, you need to know what is the numerical aperture, what is the emission width of your LED and is that within the numerical aperture of the fiber. So, can I have an emission pattern like this? When we talk about fiber, fiber optical fiber will always have a certain acceptance angle. So, if your acceptance angle is within the emission width, then this light can be coupled into the fiber. If this acceptance cone is, cone is very small, but LED is emitting really wide angle, it means a lot of light you are losing, only a part of the light is getting uh, coupled into the fiber. Ideally, if you were to couple light into a fiber, the numerical aperture of the, the spread of angular spread of the LED should match with the acceptance angle of your fiber, so that you are able to optimally couple light into the fiber. But as far as display LEDs are concerned, right, not for communication, for display LEDs are concerned, you would want this emission to be as broad as possible, so that light is seen from all possible angles. Now, the question for you to think about is, we already said that, you know, from inside the LED uh, structure, there is only a certain, so let us say this is the emitting structure, uh, light that is coming at angles greater than the critical angle are going to be internally reflected, which means only a certain cone of light is emitted and that cone is decided by the critical angle. Okay. So, then why are we talking about this uh, you know emission pattern? Can I not just say directly that the emission pattern is directly defined by the uh, critical angle? Can I just not do sin inverse 1 over n and say that that is my emission angle? Of course, I have to allow for the refraction also. So, there is a I will have a certain angle of incidence within which if it is uh, uh, arriving this 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 is the arrival ray uh, angle of arrival at the interface if the angle of arrival is within the critical angle you will have refraction and you will have some uh, light that is coming out but if i have a ray that is arriving at an angle greater than the critical angle that is getting lost in the system so can i not just say directly that the uh, the twice the critical angle and of course, it is not directly twice the critical angle, you have to find out the corresponding angle of refraction corresponding to that. Can that not be directly considered as the emission angle of the LED? In fact, you say that the LED emission is a Lambertian. What is a Lambertian? Uh, intensity falling exponentially is not a Lambertian. Lambertian is an emission where let us say this is the emitting surface and this is the normal to the surface and you are looking at an angle theta with respect to the uh, normal. So, let us say I have an emitting surface like this, this is my theta, this is my normal and I am looking at an angle theta anywhere around this normal and I am making a plot. Okay. If I am making a plot of the emission, so emission is maximum obviously at theta equal to 0 because the refraction is minimum uh, there, the frontal reflection is also minimum there. If this I call as I naught, the intensity at maximum and if I at any angle is equal to I naught cos theta, then it is a Lambertian source. A Lambertian source is the one where I at theta is I naught cos theta. So, if I do a polar diagram, I mark angles 
corresponding to 45 degree, 60 degree, etc. So, this is let us say 30 degree, this is 45 degree, this is 60 degree and theta is measured with respect to the normal. How would the polar plot of a Lambertian look like? Peak is I naught and it goes as cos theta. So, which means at theta equal to 0, it is maximum, theta equal to 90 degree, it is minimum which is 0, theta equal to 45 degree i naught by root 2, uh, when does it become half of i naught? 60 degree and so on. So, if I plot this, this is going to look like a It's not come out really to scale nicely, but at theta equal to 60 degree, this is theta equal to 60 degree, this should become I naught divided by 2. And typically LED emission pattern is a Lambertian. Now, how does this tie up with the fact that the emission is restricted by total internal reflection? On one hand, we are saying it is restricted by total internal reflection. On the other hand, we say that surface emitting LEDs are all Lambertian. So, how are these two matching? So, there is something else also happens uh, before you make a commercial LED. So, you have the junction emitting. So, if this is your junction and let us say you have emission. So, the emission from the junction is of course, uh, limited by total internal reflection. But what you also do is that you put a dome which is like an epoxy dome so that even within the dome it is restricted to a certain angle. What comes outside the dome is further refracted so that the angular spread is increased. So, people use any LED you see that dome on top of the LED. What is the dome used for? The dome is used to actually spread the light out, okay, so that you are not confined within that total internal reflection angle. And dome is only one simple structure to manipulate the emission angle. You could have lenses inside the LED, you could have uh, reflectors inside the LED. The other day I had a question what happens to the light that is getting reflected back into the system, right. Uh, if the angle of incidence is greater than the total internal reflection angle, a critical angle, you have reflection. Is that completely getting trapped? So, it is actually trapped inside the system, but you can keep reflectors inside the system so that the trapped light can also come out of the system. And of course, these days people are engineering structures inside the LED so that the light extraction capacity from the LED is larger and larger because the other day when we worked out the biggest hit on efficiency we are taking from not because of the internal quantum efficiency, but because of the external quantum efficiency, ability of your uh, structure to extract the light out. So, people are still working out what is the best way to uh, people have uh, put in what are called as photonic band gap structures. So, that specific directions are uh, extracted out of the system and so on, okay. So, by putting dome, lenses, reflectors, etcetera, you can manipulate the emission angle. But as far as the LEDs for optical communication is concerned, what we are interested is not to increase the uh, emission angle arbitrarily large, we want to match the angle of divergence of LED with the numerical aperture of the fiber. We will talk about what a numerical aperture of a fiber when we talk about fibers, but from your elementary uh, class 12 understanding, you know that every optical fiber depending on the refractive index of the core and the refractive index of the cladding can accept only light at specific angles and that is your acceptance angle and sine of 
So, this is your theta c and sin of that acceptance angle is your numerical aperture, numerical aperture is sin theta c. So, as far as uh, LEDs for optical communication are concerned, you are trying to match the emission angle of the LED with that of the numerical aperture of the fiber. Typically display LEDs are surface emitting LEDs, so that you can have a large acceptance angle whereas communication LEDs are edge emitting LEDs. You remember the diagram of the PN junction the edge emitting if, if this is the active region the junction region edge emitting LEDs emit from the side whereas the surface emitting LEDs emit from the surface right. You would like to have edge emitting LEDs so that you are ensuring some amount of guidance inside the double heterostructure and you can control this theta. So, that completes our discussion on LEDs 